You ready? You ready? Ready to be on the video? Okay. Hi everybody, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy, and this is Monty. Like many of you, we like to travel with our pets. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what happens when you have a medical emergency with one of your pets and they require surgery when you're miles from home. That happened to us with Monty, where Monty unfortunately got attacked by a pit bull at the, one of the campgrounds we were staring at. And we had to take him to a vet to have surgery performed on him to take care of the infection that he got from that bite. Now this happened at the campground in San Diego where we were staying while Diane was having her medical issues, including her surgery. And this happened between her hospital visits. I was out taking the dogs for a walk and we went to the dog park. And on our way back from the dog park, Monty got attacked. So let's show you some video of that right now. On the afternoon that Monty was attacked by the pit bull, we were walking along this stretch of road in the campground and you can see the tiny homes or camping cabins behind us. Well, the pit bull came running out of one of these cabins coming from our left side. Now, Monty always walks on my right side. And at that instant, he crossed over in front of myself and Zephyr to block that pit bull from attacking us. And he took the brunt of the, he took the total brunt of the attack. That pit bull latched onto Monty and bit him and would not let go. The owner was running out right after the dog. Apparently he opened the door for whatever reason, not to let the dog out, but the dog escaped. He comes running out right after and immediately grabs a dog into a bear hug, but the dog's not letting go of Monty and Monty's screaming in pain. Um, I'm yelling at them. I'm not getting anywhere near that dog because I know it will turn and bite whoever tries to touch it, especially if it doesn't know who it is. So I'm not getting anywhere near, but I'm yelling at them, get your dog off of my dog. At that point, the owner's wife, I, I presume, she comes out and she tries to separate the two dogs using a broomstick, which really didn't work. She then eventually uses her hands and separates their dog from Monty. But in doing so, their dog bit her quite severely on her arm. And that was the next amount of yelling was her saying to her husband, get the dog off of me. Um, I guess she got bit quite bad. She ended up with a, a pretty big bandage in her arm and a sling for a while afterwards. Monty, he got bit on his shoulder and we took him to the vet. They cleaned, they shaved that area and cleaned the wound but unfortunately it got severely infected and we had to take him back to the vet a few days later to have them put in two drains to allow the infection in that area to dry out and heal. He ended up having surgery for those two drains and stitches to close the wound up. Um, he was in the vet's, vet's office most of the day, but after that he healed up very well and we took him back for fo two follow-up visits, to one to have the drains removed, the second one had the stitches removed and they said he was doing really well. And since then he's bounced back to his normal self. He's got his normal personality and that really doesn't seem to bother him. But I was very concerned about him during this time. Uh, my biggest thing is that during all of this, I've got Diane being prepared for surgery and she's gonna be leaving Monty and Zephyr and I to go to the hospital to get our surgery done and I'm trying to address Monty's wound. This was before we had the drains put in and it was getting to the point where he would not let us touch it. He would yell in pain if we tried to touch his wounded area to clean it. So that wasn't working. We actually thought about uh, taking Monty and finding a vet's office that we could board him at where they could treat him um, because I wasn't gonna be able to do that on our, my own. We weren't able to find one. The vet's office that we took him to didn't do that, but we did get him back into an appointment and that's when they noticed how badly infected it was getting and then they shaved his fur area, his, his wound area, I should say, and addressed that with the drains. As you can see, we we're very lucky and Monty healed up very well and he's back to his normal self at this time. 
But this brings up a few points that I want to share with you if you ever run into an issue like this when you're traveling with your pet. The first one is how to find a good vet when you're traveling. We were lucky in that we were able to talk to some of the people at the campground and they recommended a vet for us. My recommendation for you is if you're looking for a vet that you need to take your, your pets to while traveling, talk to the work campers. Those are the people that are there at the campground and they're there for an extended period of time with their pets and they need to find good veterinarian service for while they're there. We, we were able to do that and got an excellent vet to take care of Monty while we, uh, he was in need. Then my next tip for you is when you go visit the vet, be sure to explain your needs. I mean, not just the needs that the, you know, you have a dog who's got a bite or some type of injury that needs to be taken care of, but what are your needs to take care of the dog? In our case, our first visit when we went and had his wound treated, we really didn't talk to the vet that much about what it was gonna be like for us to take care of him. And when we got back, we really had an issue with taking care of him because he wouldn't let us touch the wound. Um, that led to it to get getting more infected, which it probably would have anyways because it needed a drain. But we ended up having to take Monty back to the vet and have that drain installed. And while that was going on, I explained to the vet that I'm by myself, that Diane was in the hospital, and that I needed to be able to take care of Monty during this time. What the vet did for me is he made sure that not only did they clean his wound, install the drains and make sure everything was as best as it could be before he left, but they also gave us medication to help calm Monty down and even tranquilize him if I needed that to take care of his wound. Thankfully, we didn't need the tranquilizers, but the medication that we gave him for pain and calming him down helped out a lot because it kept his activity low and allowed him not to aggravate that wound at all by being too active. We were also very lucky in that the owners of the pit bull picked up the costs for Monty's surgery and all his vet visits. So that was lucky for us because that would have been a big expense on top of all the other big expenses that we were occurring at that time. But that may not always be the case. Um, you will definitely need to start a dialogue with the pet owners to make sure that they do the right thing and follow through. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've ever had to take any of your pets to a uh, vet while traveling for emergency uh, medical care, let us know in the comments how that worked out for you and if there's any tips that you could pass on to our viewers. Well, until the next time, Monty, somewhere, and I will see you guys down the road. Please be sure to like and subscribe this video and take care, everybody. Sit down. Sit. Nicer if you look at the camera. I have nothing for you. So come on, turn around. Get your back rub. Come on, Monty. Sit around, sit. Come on. Jeffrey, sit.